Ooh, it's another cooking video, but this has been cooking all night. Couple of chickens. Yeah, the lens is fogged up here. Yeah, I got it. I got it too close to the steam. Now you can see better. Yeah, we got chicken, and my girl's gonna make some cornbread stuffing along with some cranberry sauce. We'll maybe tell a story or two. So, yeah, we're having. Oh, the vegetables. That's right. You're doing steamed vegetables too. So yeah, I'll just I'll, I'll set the camera up over the stove here, and. Oh yeah, yeah. That'll we'll get a shot of that in the in this video as well. So let me get the camera set up, and we'll be right back. All right, we're set up. So we're gonna have some more cornbread stuffing. I love this stuff. I stocked up on it, and then man, my girl's got some some leftover broccoli and the California blend vegetables. So we'll put that in the old pot. Yeah. And of course, two cans of cranberry sauce. We live cranberry sauce. Yeah, I forgot to put that in the refrigerator last night. Oh, you. No, oh, that's all right. It'll be all right. Concentrating on them chickens and getting them out the way. Yeah, darn them chickens. Here, I'll help you get the uh, cranberry sauce open. Oh, will you? I'm helping. Because that's what. That's what good good hubbies do. He's a good hubby, Sims. Yeah. What stories are you going to tell? Well, subs, <laughs> you know I was a damn fool. No, not you. Yeah. That didn't change for years, subs, unfortunately. Yep, uh, I'm going to have to move you, subs, because... Oh, here, okay, we're back. Didn't want to move you there for a minute, subs. Yeah, didn't want to sling you around to get you dizzy. Yeah. Some stories that happened when, when, when we were little kids, subs. We 
were still living in Homewood. So, it was fun in Homewood back then. Now it looks like Beirut. But back then, you know, there was families. And the mom stayed at home. The fathers worked. You know, people looked out for each other. It's totally different, totally opposite of what it is today. Total opposite. Well, anyway, we were little kids, and we used to watch, you know, the monkeys, and there used to be this this show called Mr. Terrific, and he was a superhero, and I don't remember too much about him except that enabled for him to get his powers. He had to take this capsule, and he would turn like blue and green and purple and red stuff like that. That's that's really all I remember about it. It's, it's a really old show from the 60s. So, there was one time, Subs, when we were playing in the living room. And, like I said, we were watching The Monkees, and then we were watching um, Mr. Terrific. So, I'm sitting there. My sister Donna is laying on her on her stump, and she's watching the show. And my brothers are rolling a ball to each other. And so this one time, they're going back and forth. My mom's sitting there on the couch. I don't know what she was doing. I don't know. I don't know if she was on the phone or whatever. I don't remember. And we were all sitting there, and my sister, like I said, she's laying on her stomach, and my brothers are sitting on the floor, you know, rolling a ball back and forth to each other. So, eventually the ball, you know, it would hit my sister's leg, you know, and one of the brothers would just go and get it, you know, and they'd continue on playing. This one particular time, the ball rolled over and hit her leg. <laughs> I think it was, my, it was my little brother Mike that went to get the ball after it had hit her leg. He moved her leg out the way and so she farted right in his face. <laughs> <laughs> I, we died laughing. Except for my brother Mike. He was like, ew, you're nasty. And my mother's like, what in the world? Why would you do that? What, what? Mom, it just slipped out. <laughs> I was like, wow. you nasty little heifer. Why would you fart in that boy's face? What is wrong with you? But I didn't mean to do it, Mom. I told you. It slipped out. She said, well, not another one. Better slip out your ass. I know that. <laughs> we were dying. Oh, man. Except my brother Mike. You know how kids are. They hold their nose. Yeah. Ew! <laughs> it smells like onions and garbage. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> oh, we were dying. Oh, that man. was so. I mean, even my mom had to laugh a little bit at that. Because <laughs> I think he was like two. Oh wow! Yeah, he was like maybe two, two and a half, something like. It smells like onions and garbage. <laughs> wow. That girl was always farting. You sit up there and you just touch her and she'll fart. I mean, I don't know what was wrong with that girl. What what you do? Oh, do you want a lid? Yeah, you have to rinse that off. Oh, I gotta rinse it off. Okay, I'm sorry. I forgot. Yeah. I'm helping. Yeah, he's helping Subs. <laughs> yeah, Subs. That girl I don't I don't know what the problem was. Oh she oh that used to irritate my mom so bad. And she got married too, didn't she? Yeah, what we can only imagine what's going on there. Yeah, probably a contest every uh, every meal. But yes, yeah, Sims. Every time you turn around, I mean, you just walk past her and she'd fart. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with that girl. Wow. That's, yeah. that's hilarious. Uh huh. True who story. You, I don't care who you are. <laughs> yep. True story, Sims. Man. Uh huh. Yep, when my brother Mike was being potty trained, 
um, in the summertime, we'd be out playing. Of course, he wanted to be out playing too, but when he got up from a nap or after she gave him lunch or something, then he had to sit on his pot. No. So she would sit the pot out on the porch. And we kids, you know, we would watch him. You know, because she'd be, she'd be in the house cleaning. So she said, well, you guys keep an eye on him. And when he's done, come and let me know. <laughs> she said, then I'll clean him up and then he can go play. So we're like, okay. So we didn't go too far from the house, subs. And we were... Um, well, we were only allowed, we weren't allowed to go past a certain um, streetlight pole, telephone pole. We were allowed to go past it. So, we'd be running up and down the strips. Or we had these skates, which is, remember the skate key you had to put around your neck? And if you lost yours, either your brothers, sisters, or your friends, you know, because the, 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 the keys fit all the skates. So... You know, we would have the key around our neck because somebody was always losing it. So anyway, my little brother Mike is sitting there. with Because back then it had a little strap to go across, you know, to keep him sitting there, keep him kept strapped in. It wasn't very tight or anything, but it was just a little, little plastic strap. So we're running up and down the street playing, and we had forgot about him. Of course, you know, because we're little kids and we're playing. So my brother Mike decided that he didn't want to sit on the pot. That he wanted to get up and run and play with us. So he, he was calling my mom. She was like, no, you have to wait. You have to go to the bathroom first, and then you can go play. And, of course, he didn't want to do that, but, you know, he didn't have a choice back then. So she's still in the room, so we're running up and down the street. All of a sudden, we see my brother Mike running up the street from his stomach down, waist down, butt ass naked, running up the street to play with us. So we're like, what is he doing up? And we were trying to say, well, maybe he told Ma, it's like, well, but he's naked. He, he, how come he don't have no, no underwear on or nothing? So we got him and took him back to the subs. He had worked that little strap loose and he had poop, and it was just little little poop balls going off the porch and up the street. Oh, my mother was so mad. We had to take him, and we was like, oh, look what he did. And so we called my mom, and she wasn't none too happy with us screaming that he had, he had pooped on the porch. But that's what happens. <laughs> that's what happens, Sibs. And mom was like, how did he get out of that? We was like, well, no. You know, he, he ran up the street with us, and he don't have no pants on. So she's like, boy, what is wrong with you? And all he kept saying was, I want to play, I want to play. So, you know, she took him, picked him up, you know, put him on her hip, and took him in the room to, you know, bathe him and get him all cleaned up and everything. And in the meantime, we just cleaned up the porch and everything and threw it in a, in a little garbage bag. Because there were no plastic garbage bags back then. You know, so we just found a little brown paper bag. That's all they had back then was brown paper bags. So we just found a small one and cleaned it up. You know, went out, put it up, took it out in the yard, threw it in the garbage can. You know, my mother went and cleaned him up and everything. And then he was allowed to go out. You know, but yep, that's what he did, subs. That, that's what he done dude. Mm-hmm. Yep. My brothers were something else when they were little. They were something else. They didn't. He didn't listen. He didn't want to eat. Um, if we got done eating before him, which we always did, you know, we got cleaned up, then we could go play. And, of course, he wanted to, too, but he hadn't eaten all, all of his food. So, th I believe this was a Sunday, and we really weren't allowed to make, for some reason, we weren't allowed to run up and down the street. Because you didn't see kids running up and down the street like you do now. For some reason, on Sunday, you had... You know, that day was held in reverence. So, you really couldn't run up and down the street or nothing like that. You know, because that would um, really really annoy your parents and everybody else's parents. So, we didn't. But anyway. So, my brother decided. he didn't, I forget whatever it Oh, no, no, I didn't. I'm, I'm lying. 
I remember what it was. Uh, but that's a, that's another story. That has nothing to do with this one. But, um, so, he didn't want to eat because he wanted to go play. So my mom said, no, you know, you eat your food just like everybody else, and then you can go play. He said, well, I don't want this. I, I don't want this. She said, well, that's too bad because you're going to sit there and eat it. So, she said, don't you know that there's kids that are starving in China? And he said, well, they can have this because I don't want it. <laughs> Subs, if any, of the, if any of us would have said that to my mother, um, we would not be alive today. I, I, I can honestly tell you that. We would not be alive to talk about it. But he was the baby, and he was like, maybe, he was about, about maybe two, going on three, something like He was little, so he got away with it. But any other time, he would not have gotten away with it. Nope. If that had been us, we'd have been decapitated. But that was the baby. So she was trying to reason with him. And I, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Uh, well, you can have this because I don't want it. You know, well, you're going to eat it. So she would come back in the room. And he's still sitting there. He didn't eat that food. So she's like, okay. You're not going to eat that? I don't want it. Okay. So, what he did was that he, he climbed on down from the table and he, you know, I think we were playing upstairs or we were out in the backyard because we had a swing set with a sliding board and everything. And that was out back. So, that's, that's probably what we were doing. So, the next day at lunchtime, I forget what my mom made us. I'm not really sure. But my brother thought he had gotten you know, rid of that plate that he didn't want to eat. No, no. See, he, he, had, he hadn't learned about Verge yet. He, he still he was too little to, to know about her. So, he's sitting there, you know, I believe she made us sandwiches because this was like in the summertime. So, we're sitting there eating the sandwiches, you know, and then we're going to go out, you know, and play. So, when my brother woke up and came for lunch, she pulled that same plate out of the refrigerator. Remember your mother used to do that? Pull that same plate out, heat it up in the stove, because they didn't have microwaves back then. She heated it up in the stove, pulled it out, set it right back in front of him. And told him he better eat it. So he ate it. I mean, but he was like making faces. And you know what you know what little kids do. So he's making all kind of faces and everything. Because he didn't want to eat it, but he knew better. So he just sat there and shut up and ate it. Because I guess he could tell by the look on my mom's face that she wasn't going for that a second time. But that was the only time I ever remember him doing that. Yeah, I got a bunch of um, meal stories. So we, we weren't allowed to play at the table. Oh, just kill yourself. That was deadly. You know, don't play at the table. But, of course, this is me we're talking about. So this one particular time, it had to be a Sunday because my mom always made, remember when your mom, your grandma, they always had big spreads for Sunday dinner. And so this particular time we were having cauliflower. I remember the cauliflower, cause it, you'll know why in a second. And I think we're having chicken wings, I believe. I don't, I don't remember what else. It could have been macaroni or something because my mom always gave you a balanced meal. But I remember the cauliflower for this particular reason. Uh, we were sitting there. You know, my mom was in the kitchen, you know, putting the food in the bowl so she could bring it to the table. So we're sitting there, and she brought in the cauliflower. Now, I love cauliflower now, Subs. When I was a kid, I hated it. I don't I don't know why, because it, it tastes the same and it looked the same. So I... I I couldn't tell you what, what the problem was. But I made up something to make me dislike it even more. And when she brought it to the table, it was steaming and everything. So we're looking at it. My brother Mike said, what's that? I said, you never seen that before? He's like, no. What is it? I said, that's cow brains. 
<laughs> Everybody was like, what? I said, yeah, that's a, that's a brain. It's a cow brain. And of course, um, in those days, the kitchen wasn't too far from the dining room. So it, was a, it was a really small kitchen. The dining room was bigger, but it was a really small kitchen. So my mom said, what did I tell you about that? You better shut your damn mouth. That ain't no damn cow brain. It's cauliflower. It's a vegetable. And it's good for you. And you're going to eat it. I done told you about that. I'm going to come in there and slap your lips off. Because I didn't Because <laughs> I told you to shut up about that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's a vegetable. Huh. So I'm sitting there. And I'm looking at it. The cow brain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I sat there and told him it was a cow brain. I was working on another video. Sorry, I was away from the... Oh, oh, you was away from the action? Yeah, I had to work on the previous video for this one. Yeah, I was... I was. I didn't learn, subs. You were funny. You were a comedian back in the day. I didn't learn. I was always doing something. So to this day, you know, yeah... I'll be looking at the cow brains. <laughs> uh -huh. well, I was telling everybody... And that's what it was. Wow. Damn them cow brains. Yeah, it makes me want to eat some cauliflower right now. Yeah, I got some in that pot. Oh, good. Cow yeah, brains yeah, with cow green. Brains. What, what would the broccoli be there? I, I, don't, I don't know. I didn't think of nothing for that because I liked broccoli. Oh. You know, but I didn't like cauliflower. I don't I don't know why, so I guess I made up that name. No. So I wouldn't have to like it. I guess we're done with the butter. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I was a mess, Subs. <laughs> I was always getting in trouble. I think like, you still are a mess, but, you know. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I ain't too much change, Subs. <laughs> ain't too much change. That's why I love you. I loved it, Subs. Yeah. Yeah, my mom didn't play that. Don't play at the table. <laughs> we we uh -huh. play at the table. We... She's going to slap my lips off. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be lipless, Subs. Oh, no. Boy, that would have been interesting. Yeah. Ooh, baby. In many ways. Yeah, where's your lips? Uh-huh. One time she's going to snatch my tongue out. Wow. Yeah. Because I was, I was always I was always saying and doing stupid stuff, subs. As you can tell from the previous vengeance. Yeah. I, I don't know what, I don't know what got into me. I just refused to do what I was supposed to do. I, I don't get it. I, I don't know. What, I don't know. <laughs> I, I have I have no excuses. I, well. I really wait a minute. I really don't. Um, hold on just a second, subs. Can you get that bowl? Which one? This one. Okay, here we go. All right. Try not to swing it too much. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Well, like I said, subs, my mom hated it. When you played at the table. Yeah, that was like instant death sentence. Oh. To do that. You know, you don't play at the table. I don't know. Your punishment is death. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Death penalty. Judge, jury, and executioner. Yep. Wow. Uh-huh. So around holiday time, sibs. I used to especially act a damn for it at holiday time. So once again, playing at the table oh, no. was a no-no. What'd you do? And, and, of course, my brothers were young, you know, and they would forget stuff, you know. So you played at the table. Yeah. <laughs> so I had them playing at the table. So this one Thanksgiving subs, and I have told this story before, but it's worth mentioning it again because I'm an idiot. And... My brothers were sitting at the table, and all the food was cooked. My mom was just waiting on the rolls. So, we're sitting there. Well, they were sitting there at the table. And then, I, of course, my dumb ass wandered in. So, I'm like, what y'all doing? We're waiting for Ma. I'm like, oh, okay. So, I sat down with them. And, you know, you didn't have any specific place to sit. You just sat wherever. It didn't, it didn't make any difference. Except you just sit at the head of the table. Of course, you knew that. You didn't, you didn't move up to that spot till no, not till I left home. <laughs> so anyway, Sebs, my little brothers and they're little, 
at this time. I think my brother Mike was like four, you know, because I was ten. My brother Mike was four. That would have made my brother Pete six. Okay. So they're like, boy, Ma sure is taking a long time. Because she was bringing everything out, you know, one at a time. So, she brought out this, the bowl of, um, uh, what is it, cranberry sauce, and she brought out the, um, I think that year we had ham, I think. So, she brought out the big ham, and there, there were no spiral cut hams in those days, you had to cut the ham. <laughs> so, she brought out the ham, she brought out the cranberry sauce. And we were allowed to have pop, but my brothers, they had Kool-Aid, but we were older, so we were allowed to have a can of pop. So, they're sitting there, my mom's bringing out, you know, each of the dishes as they got done, you know, she's putting them in a bowl and bringing them out on the table. So, I said, you want to know how to make Ma hurry up? <laughs> and they're like, how? I said, there's a way to, that mom will come. And they're like, you, you going to boss Ma? I said, no, dummy. I said, but if Ma thinks we're hungry, because she's our mom, she'll hurry up and bring the food. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, really? I said, yeah. They're like, well, what should we do? I said, you should get your knife and fork and bang up and down on the table and say, we want to eat. Now, subs, <laughs> my mom was in the next room, okay? And like I said, one of the walls in our dining room, um, was nothing but it was like a big one big mirror is it, it was uh, mirrors so of course I didn't see her standing in the mirror with her hands on her hip listening to all this because I wasn't paying attention to being stupid <laughs> so my brother started banging on the table with their knife and fork <laughs> <laughs> we want to eat we want to eat Cause we're hungry. We want to eat. And I, they're like, like that? I'm like, yeah, just keep that up. <laughs> just keep it up. So they're it on the table. We want to eat. We want to eat. Cause we're hungry. We want to eat. So here come my mom in the room. In one hand, she had a, a bowl of green. No, no, she bought the bowl of um, rolls in first. Then, then they're still doing this. <laughs> and then she went and got the greens. It was a big bowl of kale. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> so, and they had a big spoon in it. So they're still doing it. My mother slammed the bowl down on the table. She said, what the hell's going on? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Didn't I tell you not to play at the table? And of course, their eyes are all open. Their mouth is hanging open. She knew I was the one who did it, sis. <laughs> So she act like she was stirring the green subs and she turned around and looked at me and she said, what did I tell you about playing at the table? Why do I have to keep talking to you? Subs, she didn't even get it out of her mouth. She reached in that bowl with that spoon that was in the greens and <laughs> swung back and smacked the shit out of my forehead with that spoon and somebody had a big green stuck on my forehead. <laughs> A piece of kale. Yeah, it was a big ass leaf of kale stuck on my forehead. <laughs> she said, "Don't play at the table, God damn it! You know better than that, and you better go somewhere and sit down because I'm about to slap the cowboy shit out of you." <laughs> <laughs> cowboy shit. Out yeah, the cowboy what? shit. Yeah, there's another story about the cowboy shit. Oh jeez. She said, "I'm not gonna keep talking to you. I'm gonna just send you upstairs, and you're not coming back down. So that means you get no dinner." Oh, wow. You know, so of course I'm going to shut up then. <laughs> and they were, when my mom left, she said, I don't want to hear not another sound come out of this damn room. Because you know better than to play at the table. <laughs> I don't give a damn who told you. You ought to have enough common sense to that. <laughs> and of course, I'm sitting there with this big, I forgot I had a green stuck on my forehead. <laughs> Till my brothers were like, why are you telling us to do that? Mom's yelling at us. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, shut up. Didn't Ma bring us some food? Yeah. I said, well, it worked, didn't it? <laughs> and I pulled the green off my head and ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a damn fool, subs. Well, I bet that your brothers looked up to you. Uh, <laughs> well, usually they would get hollered at if I was around. Oh. They didn't usually get beat up. 
No, you you would t you're going to get the punishment. Yeah. Well, usually it was well. Why didn't you stop them? <laughs> right. But I had started that, so I really oh didn't say anything about that because I had actually started that mayhem. <laughs> yeah. You and your mayhem. Uh huh. You want to talk about the cowboy shit? Yep. <laughs> There was a couple stories, but, the, but that was one. She's going to slap the cowboy shit out of me. Oh, my. Yeah, I was always getting something slapped out of me. My mom had all kind of names for you. I don't know what that was all about. My mom had a name for everything. I mean, that's where I get it from. Where did you get that from? You. <laughs> you. <laughs> but I didn't dare say that. I would be here today. Yeah, what my brother Pete. Was in, I don't know what he had done because I came in on the tail end of it and he was in the dining room and I guess he got on my mom. I don't know how, what he did that he got on her nerves. So she had hollered at him. So which means that everybody in the family was going to know what you did. <laughs> yep. Because whenever they start hollering and carrying on during that course of day, and that was like, you know, it was in the afternoon. You know, when everybody got everybody settled and everybody ate their lunch and everything, then the sisters would call each other and tell each other what their stupid kids did. So that was pretty normal. So, like I said, this one particular time, I came in on the butt end, so I really don't know what he had done. And my mom was hollering at him. And he's sitting there looking all stupid. <laughs> And she came out and was talking to him, and I'm not going to talk to you no more. I'm tired of talking to you. You better go somewhere and sit down before I knock the shit out of you. <laughs> and <clears throat> she said, you do one more thing today. You just do one more thing, and I'm going to slap the cowboy shit out of you. <laughs> now, what exactly that meant, subs, we never found out. Even though when she was older, we were like, well, what exactly did that mean? <laughs> You know, she's like, I don't know. You kids would drive me crazy. I'm like, oh, oh so you just making up stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. So. Drove her insane mm -hmm. where she was making yep. stuff up. <laughs> so she went upstairs. Okay, I went and sat at the dining room table, you know, over by the window. So I'm like, oh, bad. <laughs> so I waited, you know, till Verge, you know, she carrying on, going on up the steps. Because you know how mothers are. They, they just go through all. If you don't do anything. Because they'll go all around the house. She, she could have went up on the roof. She'd have went up on the roof talking about it. <laughs> That's how my mom was. Don't do nothing. Because then she's going to tell. You I mean she'll be out in the yard talking to the neighbors about it. She'll be <laughs> in the basement talking to the spiders. <laughs> she'll be going upstairs talking to the, the clothes on the hamper. Or, <laughs> I mean, she anybody that want to listen, she's going to tell. Anything or anyone. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, I'm sitting there taking all this in. Because it ain't me. So I'm sitting there. She went upstairs. Of course, she carrying on. I'm sick of talking to you kids. Kids drive me out my damn mind. I'll never have no peace. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's sitting there. And I said, boy, mom going to slap the cowboy poop out of you. Shut up, man. <laughs> Just shut up. Because I'll come over there and kick you in the face. <laughs> I said, no, you're not. As a matter of fact, oh, what does that mom say? She's going to slap the cowboy poop out of you? So he said, you better shut up. I said, okay, I won't say that anymore. <laughs> I'm going on the warpath. <laughs> and of course, I didn't hear Verge coming down. Yeah, I didn't hear. I don't learn, subs. Then all of a sudden, she slapped the cowboy shit I out of you. I do not learn. <laughs> oh, so she come down there. She was sneaking down the steps, subs. That's what she was doing. That's my hypothesis. Jeez. I'm just going around the room, you know, like like I'm an Indian, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just dancing around. And everything twirling and everything. And so I twirled and turned around and looked in the kitchen, and there she was. <laughs> and out came that bat. 
Yeah. <laughs> Your favorite bat. I got beaten to submission, subs. <laughs> What did I tell you about teasing these kids? I'm sick of you. You make my ass tired. <laughs> what? Your ass tired. I asked her that too. What, is, what does that mean? That's like, yeah, ma, what did that mean? <laughs> I mean, you was getting on my nerves. That's what it meant. Yep, she was beating me on every word, sis. <laughs> every word. Oh, my. So, okay. <laughs> She finally stopped, and of course he's still sitting there, cause he figured he got something on me. So after a while, you know, after she lectures me about being a damn fool, I better not hear nothing else come out your damn mouth, cause next time I'm gonna come out and snatch your damn tongue out. She was always <laughs> saying stuff like that to me, subs. All <laughs> some new saying for you? Yeah. Oh wow. So. I went back over and sat down over where I was, you know, over in the corner there. He over there laughing and chuckling and everything. So what did I do, subs? Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was a damn fool, subs. I didn't learn. But she didn't come back down. Thank goodness. Oh, man. She probably beat the label off that bed uh -huh. <laughs> next time. Yep. <laughs> Mm-hmm. She beat the bat signal off of there. Wow. I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, my mom, mm-hmm. Because whenever somebody got in trouble and I heard about it, yeah, I was always poking my head up like, oh, here, here's my chance. <laughs> it's not you this yeah, time. Yeah, it's not me. <laughs> I never did that to Mike, though. I, I usually did it to Donna, Robin, or Pete. Hmm. Now, my older sister, Robin, she always thought she was Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> You know, and she was too good to be with us commoners. Oh, my. You know, yeah, she was always hoity-toity. Yeah, we never paid her too much attention. But this one particular time, subs, I had to pay her attention. Because we was we used to fight all the time, subs. I mean, I, I was always doing stuff. Because she always thought she could boss somebody. Ain't nobody trying to hear that, subs. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to hear that. You weren't trying to get bossed around. Yeah. There's two stories. One has to do with um, the Easy Bake Oven and the other one has to do with Easter Bunny. Chocolate Easter Bunny. Okay, well we were little, little, little kids. I think she was like six. Something like that, which would have made me four. And my other sister three. And she had an Easy Bake Oven. Okay, she would make little desserts, little cakes and stuff like that. And she had, it came one time, it came with um, a couple puddings, you know, chocolate. I think it came, it came with chocolate, vanilla, and butterscotch, which is why I can't stand butterscotch pudding to this day. And subs, she made this slop and expected us to eat it. Now, I don't know where she got that from because she she wasn't we weren't her kids <laughs> and she it was such a nasty mess subs she couldn't even get the spoon out of it <laughs> it was so thick and disgusting she couldn't get the spoon out <laughs> but she wanted oh you go you gonna eat this I'm like who are you talking to <laughs> like, ain't nobody but my other sister she all mealy mouth well I, I, I'll try it I said well I ain't <laughs> I'm not eat I said, look at that. I'm not eating that. Oh, you going to eat it. I, I said, no, no, I'm not going to. I said, you know what? You better get out of my face. That's what you better do. <laughs> so here come my mom. She's like, what's going on? And I said, this fool made this slop and think we're supposed to eat it. So my mom came over and looked at it. She's like, what is this? <laughs> it's butterscotch pudding, mom. And they need to eat it. She said, no, you eat, it. <laughs> you eat it. You made this mess. She said, this don't look like no butterscotch pudding I ever made. She said, you didn't follow the direction. Well, Mom, you know, I'm in school now, so I can read. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I followed it. She said, well, wait a minute. I don't remember you asking me about the measurement instrument. Did you have to ask, like, teaspoons and tablespoons of water. She didn't know what no teaspoon or tablespoon was. Jeez. I don't know what she did, but 
Oh, that was the most disgusting. It looked like it was going to crawl out and eat your face. <laughs> That's what it looked like it was going to, it was totally disgusting. Oh my. And so when my father came, because she don't want to eat it. And I was like, well, you can't make them eat it. And I'm damn sure not going to make them eat it. You don't even want to eat it. But of course, my father, to make her feel better, he ate it. <laughs> what did he say? Whatever. I don't, you know what, I don't remember. Because we all went downstairs. We went, we want to think about it. <laughs> Get the hell away from this. this yeah, because that was, that was crazy. <laughs> So, the Easter Bunny, that's when we were teenagers. <laughs> and, of course, it was Easter time. My mom would make everybody a basket. And everybody had a big, that's when they had the good, solid milk chocolate bunnies. Not chocolate flavor, actually milk chocolate. And that would be in the center of your basket with the little colored grass. And then you'd have the colored eggs and jelly beans and the little peeps. But in those days, it only came in yellow. They didn't have all the colors they got now. <laughs> so you had a, yeah, you had a really nice, my mom made everybody a really nice, cute little basket. Despite how bad y'all were, you got a nice yeah, Easter basket. Yeah, we all got Easter basket. <laughs> yeah. and we all had Christmas. She never took away Christmas or nothing oh, like wow. that. So anyway, I put mine in the freezer, um, the top part of the refrigerator, because I forgot about it. I mean, I stuck it in there, and then I, I just completely forgot about it. <laughs> so <laughs> this one day... You know, my dad was home, and my sister Robin was his pick. You know, he had five kids, but he, he acted like he only had one. And we remember that to this day. Hmm. You know, so we don't really, you know, we hold that against her. Well, anyway, so I, my mom was downstairs. My dad was upstairs, so he was off on Wednesdays and Thursdays, so it had to be one of those days. But I know she was downstairs, probably getting, getting the clothes, either putting them in or taking them out. So, she decides that she didn't ask whose bunny was it. She goes in the refrigerator and gets the bunny out and breaks the head off <laughs> of, of my bunny. Oh, no. And starts gnawing on the ears. So, I don't know where I was that I ended up in the kitchen, but... Somehow I ended up in the kitchen where a stupid was. <laughs> so she's gnawing on my, my rabbit head. So I'm like, I'm looking at it. And I said, that that better not be my rabbit. Well, if it is, it is. I said, oh, oh, okay. So I went and opened up the freezer. <laughs> And saw that the head was broke off my bunny. So I said, uh, you didn't ask if you could whose bunny this was. I don't need to ask. Cause it's been subs. Oh god. She didn't even get it out her mouth. And I just balled up my fist and uppercut her. <laughs> oh, shit. And man, her head snapped back and that bunny fell on the floor. <laughs> she was like, ah! I said, you're lucky I ain't break your jaw. I said, uh, you don't put your mouth on stuff. You need to ask. I ain't got to ask. Here come my father flying because he, he hears Princess Robin, oh, man. you know, yelling and carrying on. Of course, my mom just walking up the steps, you know, from the basement. And so he's like, what's going on down here? Of course, nobody's paying him any attention. And my mom comes up. And, of course, she's holding her mouth and everything. Oh, da, 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 da. Whatever. I, was, I wasn't even paying. I didn't go nowhere. I just had my hands, you know, on my hips, and I'm just staring at her. My mom said, what happened? She said, she punched me in the face. <laughs> and my mom said, what for? Because I, I broke the head off her body, and I was eating it. She said, well, um, that's why you got punched in the face. <laughs> And here come my father. She said, you know what? Take your ass back upstairs just because you hear Her Royal Highness whimpering. <laughs> she shouldn't have sat up there and ate what didn't belong to her. She should have asked. That's what happens when you don't ask. Oh, well. <laughs> of course, he mumbling and grumbling going on up the steps <laughs> and everything. My mother looked at her. She said, oh, I bet you'll ask next time, won't you? <laughs> she said, you don't put your mouth on it. She said, why don't you just ask 
And maybe she would have gave it. I said, no, I wouldn't have gave it to her. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I already gave her what she was going to get. <laughs> An uppercut. Yep. <laughs> I uppercut the shit out of her, sir. <laughs> I was like, uh-uh, no, you don't, no, you need to ask, you just don't take. <laughs> no. Yep, subs, I was a mess. Yep. Because she was eating my bunny, subs. And didn't ask. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably just go ahead and get a plate. <coughs> oh, we'll just go ahead and get a plate oh. ready and, uh, We'll see how well how well this meal turned out because yep. it looks amazing right now. The food's ready. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll get the camera set up here and we'll test it. And I'm gonna be like, oh, yummy, eating it. It's eating it. Stuff in my it's face. It's yummyful, subs. Yeah, yummyful. Yeah. <laughs> it looks amazing and yummyful. It's scrum delicious, subs. Yeah, it's scrum delicious. Yeah, that leg. Ooh, that leg. Yep, it'll just pop right off. Wow. Spread them. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> There's a party going on. Yep. Party over her. Party over her. Yeah. There's a party over here. Get your hands up. Yeah, that's good. Mm. That's all the good stuff. It's good. I break out the cranberry sauce. Hmm? I'm just looking. Oh. Yeah, there's enough room for all four courses. Courses, yeah. It's lunchtime, subs. Yep. The After. meat's been cooking. I had it cooking before. When did I start that? Um, about around oh, ten. Ten or eleven last night, yeah. Because mm, I let it go for like twelve, thirteen hours. Yeah. Cow yeah, I get some cow brains and green cow yeah. brains and some orange. And I always thought broccoli looked like little trees. Little trees, huh? Yeah. But there goes a nice big piece of cow brain. Perfect. Make sure I get some orange discs. Yeah. <laughs> Darn them carrots. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Well, now I'll get the camera set up so you can watch me stuff my pie hole. Yeah, he's stuffing it. <laughs> Man, this is, oh, man, this is great. Stuffing, of course, I always got to have stuffing with chicken. That's just me. Yeah. Especially turkey, Thanksgiving. I mean, I just love having stuffing all year round. So. Yeah. Mm. Well, enough, you got enough, wasn't you? Yeah. Oh. Mm. This is great. I'll be getting <clears> the vegetables <throat> into him, sir, so, because mm -hmm. he don't eat enough. No, I do need to eat more. He eats a lot of meat. Yeah. He doesn't eat a lot of vegetables. Well, I'm a man. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh man, this is great. Mm. I try to get vegetables into him every opportunity I get because he'll just yep. eat the meat. Yeah. Oh, he won't think about getting vegetables in him. Mm. No. Well, 
Oh, you like the meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do, sis. <laughs> oh, man. You're amazing. This is an awesome, awesome meal. It's a nice Sunday dinner, sis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pick the bones out. Of Make sure there's no bones in there. Oh, there's bones. You could tell there's bones in there. Oh. So um, you have to watch those. Well, I you trust got you. The, well, you, you got the, well, you got the legs with the joints in them. Yeah, I trust you didn't put any bones on my plate. Yeah. I put a bunch of bones. <laughs> I trust you. Yeah. You used to having them bones. Oh, am I? Yeah. <laughs> He's used to that, Sibs. <laughs> Darn those subliminal bones. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, so once I get done with this, Sibs, I'll go back out. My table should be dry. Because mm, I. Cause that's yeah, eat them cow brains. <laughs> that's a cow's brain. <laughs> you better shut up. Brother, come in here and slap your lips off. <laughs> <laughs> Damn that lip slapping. Mm. I was always getting something. She was always gonna do something. Oh Somebody. I should have said, Shut up, you ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Can you see that, Subs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That it was, it was a mess, Subs. I didn't mean to, I didn't think about it um, while I was doing it or, you know, over the years. It was it was just my personality, Subs. Mm. <clears throat> that, was, that was just my personality. But it didn't serve me. No, I didn't. As you hear, week after week. <laughs> week after week. Uh-huh. Week after week. <laughs> so was, if a week went by and I didn't get my ass beat, it was a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> it was a holiday in my house. Man. Okay. I was getting beat like a runaway slave. <laughs> Damn uh, shame, subs. Well, you turned out all right. Yeah. I turned out okay. Excuse me, subs. Oh, just cut in front. Uh, back then, well, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, back my then, way. parents didn't try to be your friend. Oh, no. They were your parents. My daughter is my best friend. No, she's your daughter. She is not, she is not your equal. Hmm. That's where these kids get that from. They start talking to you crazy because they figure they're equal to you. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. Nothing that came out of my ass is equal to me. <laughs> out of your ass? Right there. <laughs> what, a couple <laughs> centimeters? <laughs> well, we just meant body, but Pete, you know what we meant. Oh, yeah, I knew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know what I mean, Sims. What you want to drink? Oh. Well, what we got to choose from? Well, you only got Coke in here. Yeah, darling. There's nothing else in here. I'm oh. surprised you, you, you didn't put something else in here. I haven't had time. I've been helping you. <laughs> I'm about to get the, lap slip, the lip slapped off of my face. You got a damn shame. <laughs> Vanilla Coke in here, subs. Mm hmm. Right, pretty good. So, we're going to have our little lunch, Sibs. Yeah. This is excellent. Yeah. I mean, I'm just gorging myself right now because this is excellent. Yeah. Mm. So, here's yours. I'm going on in here to the table, Sibs. Yeah, we're going to go finish this meal because this is awesome. Bye, Sibs. Yeah. Well, no more stories from Kate. Yep. Yeah. Another awesome meal. So, we'll probably wrap up videos maybe for today. I don't know. We might do another one. but Well, we're going to do another one because I'm going to go out. Well, I'm going to wait till after the rain. We're supposed to get rain for the next three days. Yeah. Then I'll go out there and decorate the um, gazebo mm. for a holiday. Because I had decorations around the house. Oh, yeah. You know, I decorated the house. I have to do that video. America. So, right, America. America so, first. Anyway, we'll wrap up this video and finish my dinner off camera. So, 
Hope you enjoyed it. And until the next, you know, video of whatever we do. Passes. <laughs> well, yeah, because we got to go out and show them what it looks like lit up. Oh, yeah. At night. Yeah, we'll do that later. Yep. Yeah. So, until then, adios. Passes. <laughs>